The first round of this contest between Cardiff's Gary Buckland and Georgia's George Kajanski, the man with a, a very difficult second name to pronounce. Guy Buckland in the black shorts with white trim, Kajanski in the black shorts with red trim. Guy Buckland gets straight down to action in his first round. Buckland's nickname is Dynamo, so you can imagine the sort of style he's got. Non stop attack, that was a good shot. Neither of these boxers are shy about leaving their hands go in this opening round. Both guys loading up with hooks, need a punch connected flesh. Gary Buckland, 35 fights, 29 wins, and 6 losses. It's a good left hook to the body. A nice shot, they look uppercut on the inside, and Gajanski lands an uppercut of his own. Well, this is this is great action here in this first round. Both boxers loading up, just standing toe to toe. Good double left hook to the body by Backlam. Backlam throws six seven punch combination there. Great work. Backlam trying to make make room for his uppercut on the inside. But to be fair, this Georgian journeyman who's got 36 fights, 17 wins and 19 losses, he's here to try and make this a tough fight for Buckland. He's just not up here to make the numbers up. Lovely left hook to the body by Buckland. And a right hook. And a short right hook to the head. Gary Buckland, rarely in a Dell fight. Fans of the course will remember his, his two fights with Gavin Reese, which were both classics. Excellent fights, especially the first one in the Motor Point Arena in Cardiff last year. What a nice right uppercut on the inside. The second one just missed. That one landed. Left hook to the body. And again. Oh, this is great action. Will these, get, will these boxers be able to keep this pace up for the full eight rounds of this contest? Again, a left hook to the body. Backland doubles up the left hook to the body. Kajatsky returns the left hook of his own to the body. Excellent first round. As we just watch the replay, both fighters just loading up with hooks. As you see Gajanski lands a, a right hook to the side of Buckland's head and Buckler returns with a powerful body shot, really digs it in. And then again another left hook to the body, a double left hook to the body by Buckland. Makes the Georgian fighter take a step back. What an excellent action-packed first round of this contest between the uh, former British super featherweight champion Guy Buckland from Cardiff and the Georgian boxer George Jadsky. Round two. Round two and the, the boxers pretty much continue as the, the last round let off, just, just basically standing right in front of each other, letting the punches go, and Gary Backlund's loading up, and he, a right hand clipped the Georgian boxer right in the top of the head. But to his credit, the Georgian just keeps on marching forward, he landed a right hand there. Gary Backlund trains by one of Wales' most accomplished trainers, Tony Borg, who of course also trains Wales' world champion, Lee Selby. For the first time in the fight, now Buckland's actually using some boxing skills as opposed to just a marching forward. He tries to use his jab there. Mm. 
Nice left hook to the body and head by Buckland. Then he opens up with another combination. A flurry of punches. Oh, lovely one-two by Guy Buckland. A straight left followed by a right hand. This really is a, a, an impressive display of body punching by Guy Buckley. Doubled up on the left hook again to the body. Well, they're in a, a big boxing ring here, but this fight could really be just fought in a phone box because they're just pretty much standing on each other's chest and just loading up and hitting each other at will. Not much defensive prowess displayed by either boxer really but it's a, it certainly is a, a great fight for the fans to watch another right hand by Buckland who tries to land a short uppercut on the inside the referee of this contest is Martin Williams from Cardiff Buckland's on the ropes he needs to try and get off then he lands a, an uppercut on the inside and moves away from the ropes another right hook to the body and a right uppercut Guy Buckling is really loading up on these punches he's only got 10 knockouts on his record but he's Oh, that's another great left hook to the body, and he just misses with a right uppercut to the head. Oh, a nice right uppercut on the inside by Guy Buckland. Momentarily stuns the Georgia, and the left hook to the head as well, and they follow up another left hook. Great second round. Both boxers showing so much commitment and dedication there. Really good round for the fans. There's that left-right combination by Buckland, followed by a left hook. And another left hook, which was partly, partially blocked. Gary Backlund displaying really good boxing skills. But to his credit, the Georgian boxer, he's, he's not making it easy for Backlund in there. He's, he's getting back in with counter punches and hooks at any opportunity. It's just Gary Backlund is the better boxer. And they think this is the... Yeah, that's the double left hook by Gary Backlund. It's not often you see a, a double left hook in boxing. That was really class work by Buckland. Corners, 10 seconds. Second out, round three. Round three between Guy Buckland in the white and black shorts from Cardiff and George Kajanski from Georgia in the black and red shorts. So far, it's just been a... a fight in a phone box as, as the old cliche goes in boxing neither boxer really giving much ground Gary Buckland landing the, the harder cleaner shots but the Georgian boxer just giving as good as he gets really he's, he's making a fight of it but Gary's starting to show, show his superior boxing skills nice use of the jab and towards the end of that second round Buckland was starting to hurt the Georgian fighter another right hook to the body you can only take those punches for so long before the uh, before the effect settles in I mean I'm, I'm getting presuming the bo those body shots are, are taking their toll especially the, the ones in the, the earlier rounds a nice nice job by Buckland and again guys have good boxing skills when he decides to use them as he's displaying here lovely use of the jab I get the impression Gary Buckland is one of those type of fighters even though he has got good boxing skills and he could make it easy for himself he just enjoys fighting he likes to fight a lovely left hook again, followed by a jab. So whereas he could he could box if he wanted to, the guy just loves fighting. Oh, nice, nice uppercut by the Georgian. Backlund returns to his own uppercut. Oh, double left hook again to the body. How many times have I said that so far tonight? Great exchange of bot punches between both boxers. Oh, lovely work by Buckland. Double up the hook, head and body. Now to the right hook as well. This is great action. 
And now the George and Gronski looks troubled. He looks momentarily hurt. Guy Backlund put on the pressure. Guy Backlund's going to try and stop this now, I think. This is great work by Backlund. One more solid punch and this could be over. Oh, great shot by Guy Backlund. And he's really putting the pressure on. And the George on boxing now is really starting to struggle. He's looking slightly distressed as referee Martin Williams takes a close look as he splits the boxers. Oh, a lovely 3-4 punch combination by Backlund. And he's really stepping up the pace here in this third round. He's looking to try and finish this now. Referee Martin Williams is looking very closely at this. One more solid shot by Backlund. And, and referee Martin Williams has stepped in to stop the fight here in round three. Um, I'm sure the Georgians' corner would protest and say their man could continue. But I think that was, that was probably the right decision because I think the fight was only going referee one direction. Martin Williams, 